This is a 100 foot hole in the middle of the river. And this is a big nasty piece of bait. And in today's video, we're gonna throw this piece of bait into this 100 foot hole and see if we can catch what is living down there. I'm glad you guys are with me. Let's go fishing. What up you guys, it's your buddy Randall. Today we're out here on the Tennessee River, once again, fishing a deep, deep section of the river. One of the deepest parts of the Tennessee River is just right behind me. And we're gonna throw a bluegill. Where, where is he at? There he is. We're gonna throw him in there, cut up. And we're gonna see if he catches a big catfish. We don't care what it is. Blue flathead, not a channel catfish. We don't, we wanna stay away from those stinky things. But that's what we're doing. So let's get rigged up and cast this out. I'm eager to get a bait out. I've been here for about an hour and I'm I'm ready to go. So let's get to it. There is no trickety trick. I'm literally just gonna cut this guy in half. I'm gonna hook him right here through the head. Just like that. This is what we're running guys. Just a, let me get that sinker out of the way. Just a big bluegill head. It's all running right behind me. You can see the river, deep section. We're gonna cast a bait out there and see if we can catch us a big catfish. So let's go do that right now. Big bluegill head is going out. I saw somebody fish some deep water the other day. They didn't make me wanna come out here and do the same thing. So that's what we're gonna do. Bada bing, bada boom. There we go. Trap one is set right there, and we should be good. Which one just went off? One of these just took off. Must have been a small fish. Watch this line. I think we could have a flathead on here. Not a big one though, but I think I do think there's a flat on here. I, I, I turned around, I just cast this one out, and it started bouncing on me. That's usually not how blue catfish bite, they kinda, but it's a blue catfish, they're gonna take off. Flatheads are gonna be very subtle. Just spent about, oh, just spent about 30 minutes getting my other pole rigged up. Oh, did it just get a hit? It bounced, whatever it was. All these poles are getting little, little hits. So I'm thinking they're small, small fish, channel catfish probably i had a long run down there behind me but uh it, it was like something just picked it up and dropped it nothing committed we're just gonna have to sit a little bit longer and see what happens they're all getting bites though so that's a good thing other than that i'm gonna bait one more rod up put live bait on it i'm gonna chunk it out maybe somewhere down there and uh i guess i'll get to you guys when we uh get them all out <laughs> You guys can probably barely see me right now. This pole right here is getting a bite. Now I'm about to leave in like five minutes, so I'm not waiting on no dang fish. It's biting like it's a small flathead, and it may very well be that. We're gonna let him play with it for another five minutes, and then if I lose patience, I'm gonna set the hook on him. I think I got him. Whatever it is. Feels like a big flathead. Yeah, it's a little one. Got another one. Oh, he's taking off too. It's a double. Got a double. I lost him. Did he take my bait? Yeah, he took my bait. No, he didn't. Dang. All right, well, I'm gonna throw that back out then. 
almost had a double right there guys i was literally packing up to go home flathead's still down there i gotta get in my car get some light so i can show you guys i got some funky business on my rod finally i was like forget about it i'm just gonna reel it in if there's fish on it there's fish if not there's not end up being a fish on it and then mayhem broke loose let's get the light right here and head back down there see how big that flathead is hey buddy i'm glad you decide to make an appearance on the click catch and release youtube channel there's the culprit did he gut hook yeah i can get this out though nothing more i hate than gut hooking a a catfish especially flathead but it happens we can get this thing out so first thing we got to do clip that line right there second thing we do open his mouth you gotta grab that hook we gotta grab it through a gill plate hopefully you guys can see this i got my nino pliers i'm gonna go up through the bottom the very bottom of his gill plate down here simultaneously i'm gonna pull on this hook right here and i get that line pull it through his gill plate right here you see right there and that's going to turn the hook into a circle action and i'm going to pull that hook out right there and as it's getting pulled out i'm going to grab these pliers right here and i'm going to pull up on it hopefully you guys can see that all right guys got that gut hook out hopefully he'll be fine i'm going to try to give him a nice release and uh see if he can go home uh hopefully he does i'll get it on my phone and see what happens all right hopefully he can make it back got that gut hook out so trying to revive him i don't want him to die looks like he might be fine i think he's gonna be all right guys he's gonna be all right <laughs> When do I ever do car outros, guys? Never, ever. On this occasion, I'm ready to go home. I'm tired. Caught that little stinking flyhead that's probably had my bait the whole time, honestly, from the get-go. Bigger expectations from a, a deep hole like this, but it is fishing, guys. Crap happens. As always, thank you guys for watching. Peace, love, God bless, and fish on, my friends.